Next up, we've got our final array method for this section, array.sort. Now it sounds simple, it sounds like it's going to take the data and sort it. That is what it sets out to do, but the way it sorts it might surprise you. So if you look at the docs, it tells us the sort method sorts the array of elements or sorts the elements of an array in place and returns the sorted array. So let's test it out. I have an array of songs or let's say women's names based off of songs. We'll go with, uh, eh, I guess, people. If I try and sort this, I would do people.sort and it looks like it works. Alphabetically, we have Angie, Jolene, Maggie Mae, Mrs. Robinson, Roxanne. That sounds correct, it's alphabetically correct. If we look at people, it is indeed updated. It was mutated, it was sorted in place, and people.sort also returns the value too, the sorted array. So it updates the array in place and it returns it. So if you wanted to, you could capture it. But where it gets tricky is if we have an array, let's say of numbers. Uh, let's just go with nums. Nothing creative here. 34, 10, whatever that is, 100,000, 67, and 99. Let's try doing nums.sort. And you can see what we get here. 10, and then 100,000, and then 34, 67, 99. What's happening here is that it's not sorting based off of the numeric value. It converts every single value to a string and then it compares their character codes, their UTF-16 codes behind the scenes, which we briefly talked about when we covered less than and greater than with strings. So this is the default behavior of array.sort. It's odd. I really can't get a straight answer online uh, as far as why this was decided. It's pretty unique um, as far as uh, among other programming languages, and nobody uses this, or almost nobody uses it as is. What they do instead is pass in something called a compare function. So if you look at the standard way that people use array.sort, it might look like this, where there's a function passed in. And we haven't talked about that yet, so we will revisit it uh, once we do, because we'll be able to actually sort things the way we want them to be sorted. But I figured it was best to address early, because I've seen a lot of students assume that array.sort is a numeric sort when it's not. So I just wanted to cover that now. It is surprising. If you don't pass in a function and tell it how to sort, the default sort is based off of string character codes, which leads to some unexpected results. But we will be back in a bit once we talk about functions. We'll learn how to actually make sort work the way we want it to.